you're able to turn $3.3 billion to shareholders via dividends and, and share repurchases in 2022. I mean, that's about the number that people thought you would earn. There is a tremendous mystery between how you could give out that much and then come in the next year even stronger. So what's in the DNA of Nucor that allows that to happen? Well, it begins with the 31,000 uh, team members that, that execute incredibly well. I couldn't be more proud to serve them and serve alongside of them. But, Jim, our, our growth strategy, our capital allocation strategy, if we talked about, means that Nucor's position today, not five years away, that we can provide the steels that are required today. Think about the CHIPS Act, and you and I have spoke about this, $55 billion in funding. That translates to about 27 different projects, of which that advanced manufacturing sector is discerning. And they need and want cleaner products. Nucor can provide the solutions for them to meet their objectives and sustainability now, today, and well into the future. And that positions us incredibly well as we think about infrastructure, uh, the IRA, automotive, as well as, again, the CHIPS Act. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.